I want to bring in Democratic Senator Jack Reed of Rhode Island now. Senator Reed is the ranking member of the Armed Services Committee. Senator, thank you for your time. Thank you, Craig. Uh, your Republican counterpart on armed services, John McCain, says that he welcomes President Trump's decision on these sanctions. Uh, last hour, uh, Senator McCain issued a statement, and it reads in part, it is long past time for the United States and the international community to hold Iran accountable, not just for its commitments under the nuclear deal, but for its destabilizing behavior across the Middle East. Do you agree with that? Well, the missile uh, developments by the Iranians and their support of surrogates and terrorist activities are destabilizing, and we have to provide a response. I think these sanctions, they're targeted. Uh, they are restricted to some individuals and a few companies, and I think they are uh, responsive to, to the test. As uh, Nick Burns pointed out just a few moments ago, Craig, they would be, I think, much more effective if they were international sanctions. That's what got the Iranians really to the table on the JCPOA. And I think also, too, we have to be very careful so that as we target missile development and terrorist activities, we don't uh, force a rupture with respect to the joint uh, comprehensive plan with respect to nuclear weapons. There, I don't think our European allies or any allies would be supportive. In the last 24 hours, uh, we have seen this administration ask Israel not to expand those settlements in the West Bank. We saw U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley uh, say that, that we're not going to be lifting any sanctions on Russia until they pull out of Crimea. How do you square those statements with, with the president's uh, seemingly cozy relationship with Vladimir Putin, uh, with Benjamin Netanyahu? Well, I think what they represent is uh, the beginning of a realistic assessment of uh, what is the appropriate policy. Uh, the Russian uh, seizure of Crimea was against international law. Their support uh, direct in many cases of separatists in uh, the east of Ukraine. All of that defies international law and causes great uncertainty in Europe and uh, speaking out against that uh, is, I think, appropriate. Uh, similar uh, evaluations of the risks to peace and stability in other parts of the world. I think are beginning to, there's a more realistic focus on what's Senator taking Reed, place. Senator Reid, stand by. Senator, stand by. I want to take you to the Oval Office here and talk about, talk about this with you on the other side. President Trump here signing those executive actions. Today we're assigning core principles for regulating the United States financial system. Doesn't get much bigger than that, right? the American people, low and middle income in, in investors and retirees, their control over their own retirement savings. This is about uh, Main Street, and I am, it's been a labor of love for me for over four years as chairman, and I have had a, this is a big day, a big moment for, for uh, Americans uh, that care to invest and save. And she means that so much. Chairman, I think we should hand the pen to this very special person. Do we? Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. She earned it. She earned it. Yep. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Come on. Up you go.
All right, there you have it. Uh, President Trump there in the Oval Office uh, signing uh, what we, we were expecting he would sign there. There's executive actions with regards to beginning the unraveling of Dodd-Frank, if you will. Um, he is now on his way to what he has called uh, the Winter White House down at Mar-a-Lago. Uh, Senator Reid, are you still with me there? Uh, yes, I am, Craig. Uh, uh, Senator, let's talk about what we just heard there from the president. From uh, We're not sure exactly who that woman was standing next to him, though. But this idea uh, that, that rolling back regulation uh, is about middle-income investors and is about Main Street. Uh, what say you to that? Well, Dodd-Frank was legislation that was enacted to correct some of the uh, incredible shortfalls of Wall Street uh, during the 2008-2009 period. Uh, without those uh, corrections, we would not be in this economic situation today where we're seeing some growth. The job numbers this month, for example, over 200,000. Uh, and also, there are restraints there that are very necessary against large institutions. So, uh, we all want to make sure that retirees and middle income and working Americans get a fair shake, but we can't do it unless we ac accurately and uh, thoughtfully uh, regulate big industries, big banks, particularly. Senator Reid, thank you, sir, for your time.